Hi, welcome to Connect Learn. I'm Steve, and we're getting started with Python tools for Visual Studio. In our previous videos, we looked at how Python fits into Visual Studio, and you can catch up on those at the links below. This time, we're going to have a look at Microsoft Azure and see just how easy it is to get a basic Python website running in the cloud. We'll start with a basic template in Visual Studio. This bottle app is a starter site based on the Bootstrap framework. When I create it, it'll offer to install dependencies, in this case bottle, into a virtual environment. Because we're deploying to Azure websites, we need to do this, or our dependencies won't be deployed. And it needs to be based on Python 2.7 or 3.4 32-bit. Once it's created, I'll be able to hit F5 and start running the site locally. This is a great way to test your site, because we'll have access to all the debugging features that I showed in the earlier video. When you're ready to put it online, we make it really easy to get onto Azure websites. If you already have a subscription or, or trial account, bear with me for a sec, but for everyone else, let's have a look at try.azurewebsites.net. This site is a simple way to just try out Azure websites for an hour at a time with only a social login, no credit cards, no billing, just a sandbox for you to play in. We already have the template from Visual Studio, so I'll create an empty site. And in just a second, I'll be able to download the publish profile to use in Visual Studio. But you can also deploy using Git from any operating system. Back in Visual Studio, I've got the project I want to publish. So I'll just right click on the project and select Publish. If you've got an Azure subscription, you can click on Microsoft Azure Websites to manage your sites from here. But right now, we're just going to import the publishing profile that I just downloaded. This includes all the settings we need, so we can just hit Publish, and we're on our way. In just a few seconds, a new browser window will pop up and will be in our site that's now running online, publicly available to anyone in the Azure Cloud. Simple websites are relatively easy, but most serious web applications are going to be more complicated. To see some more detailed scenarios, have a look at our recommended deep dive videos below. And thanks for joining us for Connect Learn, getting started with Python tools for Visual Studio. Let us know in the comments below what you thought of the series, and all the links are there if you need to catch up on any of the videos you missed. I'm Steve, and I'll see you next time.